It does not really matter what time of day, night, or evening that you listen to the On Guard podcast. This is half of your host, which you know as Randy, aka LZ, but it is not about me. It is about the one we love, the one we serve, the one we call G-O-D, God, and Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Trinity. Now, um, let me not waste time on intros. Let me not waste time on anything that is nothing but God. Um... So, I just want to take time to thank God, as usual, um, because we, there's so much to be thankful for. Uh, I don't have time to get into everything, but we're going to sum it up in this prayer. Um, let's bow heads and pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for another day of life. I want to thank you for your grace. I want to thank you for the fact that we are able to do this yet again. Um, this podcast, these devotions, your word. Um, I thank you for our loved ones, for their health. Uh, thank you for even the, the wealth itself. Um, I just want to thank you, Lord. Everything that you do proves how good you are. Not because you do things for us, but because it's who you are. And we are so grateful that you chose us and you called us. And I'm so grateful that we were able to answer to your call. Oh Lord, I pray that you help us find our purpose and stick to the course. Even when the challenges seem to get us. But oh Lord, with you we know that we will persevere. Amen. Now, let us not begin. Let us all begin. Let us all begin. Um, I want to read a scripture. Uh, It's from Romans. I think it's perfect for the mindset that I have for today. Um, Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to 29. It says, All things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Now, Um, The reason why I think this scripture is so necessary, well, for instance, um, a lot of people don't know what they're supposed to do in life. They spend most of their life um, trying to fit in and moving with the crowd. But in all honesty, each and every single person that exists has something to bring to the table. There's something that you bring to the table which nobody else possesses. So you are necessary on this earth, okay? Your existence is not to just add numbers, but because it's something that you bring to better humanity. Um, You are called according to his purpose. Don't ever forget that. Like, embed that into your mind, into your DNA, in everything that you say and do. Because it's the there is power of life and death in the tongue. So speak positive into, positivity into your own life. Um, I'd like to read another scripture um, from Psalms chapter 5, verse 3. It says, O oh Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. <sighs> It is important to speak to God first in the morning. Um, it is important that soon as you open your eyes, you thank God for the life which you are now living. Um, because there are a lot of people who do not see the light of, of, of day. Um, they die in their sleep. So we got to be grateful to God and thankful for life, man, and not take it for, for granted appreciate the fact that he listens to us every day any time of the day there's no specific time to pray but yes and speaking about the sacrifice that we we bring to the altar 
what the sacrifice has to be in this area has to be your life and how you live it okay um read two more scriptures um james chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 uh, it says consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that testing of your faith produces perseverance let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything wow i'm not even gonna try and explain that one um then the last one is psalms chapter 4 verse 8 it says, In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. So read the scripture before you go to bed. It will put you to sleep peacefully, and you will dream beautiful dreams because you trust in the Lord. But you got to trust Him. you got to believe the word and not just read it. Okay? With that being said, I love each and every single one of you. It is Friday, but do enjoy your beautiful day. Enjoy the weekend. Peace and love. Stay safe and love each and every single person that you come across.